Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube video edition channel today. The edition is gonna be on how uh, all those step back from the Hewlin abutment to delivering the school retainer implant crown. What are those involved? So yeah. now, as you can see on the Opuso view of tip number five, I'm doing. I just been using the screwdriver removing the healing abutment now i'm using uh, either carry a uh, deck or saline to irrigate the uh, internal part of the implant make sure there's no debris and uh, after that i just have an opportunity to evaluate how good the uh, healing of the implant take a look at the healing that's what you want to see there should be no bleeding it should be nice and dry and now the uh, implant and the abutment uh, together we can place in and take an x-ray but this is called the screw retainer implant crown it means that the abutment and the crown is coming in one piece and this is the lab job to do that you try on if it fit well make sure you put a floss floss between the meso and distal make sure there's no gap between the gum and everything using the range and the torque wrench and tight all the way to 30 35 newton centimeter depend on your implant system and then you check your bite and ensure that there's no problem with the bite and um, and then Pretty much uh, put the um, <coughs> teflon in through the hole and uh, use some condenser or con or a, a perio pro just press it down all the way in um, you can use other material wax cotton cotton pallet the or the gutta percha but we found that the teflon worked the best in the most high chain Chinese way of doing the putting something under the fluids because that you can you know that you're aware that <clears throat> the implant is uh, underneath the bone but the implant crown is above the, 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 the gum there's so many potential of leaking so the fluid can go in there that's why you want to use some kind of material that is not water uh, absorbed but water resistant after that put some bonding on and uh, put flowable composite or regular composite and cure it and uh, your case will be done see that right now we're putting that on and we're gonna take uh, some dry and then we're gonna finish it up thank you for watching you guys hope you enjoy this quick step tutorial how to step by step to involve for delivering the um, implant crown thank you guys have a great day if you have any questions or suggestions please don't feel free to go ahead and let me know also uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do so we the goal is to give you more day-to-day uh, -day general dentistry as well as some of the advanced procedure that we learned from over the years um, uh, this world is very small we try to um, collaborate with other people and bring up to this world, the most amazing technology and technique to help your patient, help your family grow for all potentially. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Wonderful day. Bye bye, guys.